What happens with leadership of the prosecutor's office if the top boss takes leave or is forced out? That's something Gina Mangieri will look into in our next half hour. But first, Jim Boniza looks back at how this case has evolved from a stolen mailbox to a full-blown federal corruption investigation. It's a tangled web that continues to ensnare more and more people with each passing month. The mailbox theft took place between June 21st and 22nd, 2013. Gerard Puana, Kealoha's uncle, is charged in connection with the case. By December 2014, the FBI was called to investigate alleged corruption at HPD stemming from the mailbox theft. The case against Puana ended in a mistrial. Then in October of 2017, a 20-count indictment including corruption and fraud against the Kealohas. Several months later, new charges were filed, including obstruction of justice against Catherine Kealoha. Then in July 2018, yet another bombshell. Hawaii firefighter Jesse Ebersol pled guilty to conspiracy, claiming Catherine Kealoha, whom he had an affair with, told him to lie to the grand jury. Two months later, Catherine Kealoha resigned as deputy prosecutor. October of last year, as the trial date grew near, a judge granted Catherine Kealoha's request to delay due to unspecified medical conditions. That brings us to today's 54-count indictment, alleging Catherine Kealoha and her brother sold drugs. Jen Boniza, KHON2 News.